put down can be devastating, especially if it comes from an authority figure like a teacher. On the other hand, some of us will see it as a challenge, and mathematician Jeff Murrigan definitely falls into this category. Michelle chatted to Jeff about how he went from being tied in a knot by maths to becoming a master of string theory. Jeff's children really couldn't care that he has a PhD. All that up on the hill, he can keep young people enthralled with the magic of numbers. These are just two of the many signs to Dr. Jeff Morrigan and his multi-dimensional universe. Integrals that you, you know, in first year you would think, oh, we would tell you that you can't solve normally. Growing up, Jeff Morrigan was encouraged to drop to standard grade mathematics, as his teacher at the time didn't think he had the inclination for the subject. Instead of heeding this advice, it inspired him to work extra hard just so that he could prove that teacher wrong. Fast forward years later, he's now a senior lecturer in the subject. Talk about applying oneself. So what this says is the following. Jeff was born in Tonga, and although he found school pretty boring, he found his calling at university, where he focused on maths and physics, going on to complete a PhD jointly at UCT and Oxford. I'm going to let them finish. And this is how complex analysis helps you solve that integral. That's all for today. Thank you. Oh, they look so happy. Jeff! Michelle, pleased to meet you. Thank you. What brought you to Cape Town, Jeff? Uh, the weather. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to be an astrophysicist. Then I came here and I discovered that you know, the weather was pretty bad. And being an astrophysicist actually meant spending time out in Sutherland where the weather is even worse. So I changed what I wanted to do, but ultimately I came here to be an astrophysicist and this was the place 20 years ago to be an astrophysicist. Was that the dream growing up? One day I'm gonna be an astrophysicist? Uh, no, no, I guess I've wanted to be many things. I've wanted to be a graphic designer, I've wanted to be a calligrapher. The catalyst was a physics teacher showing me how you could use mathematics to derive the equations of motion. And that was the turning point. That was really when suddenly I started to look at mathematics in a different light altogether. What was your childhood like? I come from a fairly small family and it was just myself and my sister and we were both fairly academically inclined. Well, I'm really curious to find out more. Care to show me? Good. Jeff has received many accolades, including a bronze medal from the South African Mathematical Society and a Lindbury Fellowship for his doctoral studies. But perhaps the most striking is a social media page created by his appreciative students. He's able to share his knowledge and passion with them and inspire them to push boundaries and explore new territory. This is our lab. It's the Laboratory for Quantum Gravity and String. You've become so popular with the students with your own appreciation page. How are you making learning interesting? I, I do know that I have this Facebook page. I suspect that some of my students were involved in setting it up. <laughs> I think I like to make mathematics as experiential as possible. You're working on something called string theory. I have no idea what that means. Please explain it. Basically, it's a theory of subatomic scales. And it's based on a very simple geometrical premise that, on a very fundamental level, the universe is not made up of point particles, but of sort of one-dimensional entities that vibrate. And everything else that we understand from it comes from writing down the geometry of this one-dimensional object moving in space and time. Jeff, you are busy all day and, you know, it's taxing on the mind. What do you do to unwind? I like to rock climb when I get the time um, and hang out with my family. Okay, I sense you're going to ask me to rock climb next. Sure, let's go. <laughs> let's do it. Jeff's interest in climbing, hiking and physics is shared by his wife Amanda, who's also an internationally respected scientist. And it's probably only a matter of time before the children follow in their parents' footsteps up the side of a mountain. It's a quick wardrobe change and I'm ready to rock and roll. Or should I say rock climb? Jeff, wait up for me. Jeff, would this be a sport that you typically do on your own? Where we are now is a bouldering wall. It's all about problem solving. So you see there's there are these little tags here. Yeah. Each of them defines a route. I'm going to set you a problem, right? You have to you have to follow the same holes that I use. All right, you got that? Jeff, that was very smooth. You were like a cat. <laughs> Left foot there, right foot here. There we go. That was better, right? Yeah, much. That's it. Nice. Great job. Well done. Woo! 
Well, Jeff, if your string theory is proven to be correct, what do you think you would have achieved? You know, I'd like to say we're going to revolutionize science and, and all of that, but really my interests are curiosity driven. I don't need to be the next Einstein or, or anything like that. Jeff, thank you so much for your time. It's really been fascinating learning about what you do. It's a pleasure. Whilst all of Jeff's mathematical theories have gone completely over my head, what hasn't is his passion for his subject. Talk about living a purposeful life.